hey, thanks for coming by and checking out Pete's Snake Bite Kit again. A while back, actually, it was when I was getting my car painted, I had started a series called The Cobra Interviews. And what I was doing is interviewing some people in their cars, mostly Cobras, but not all, and just getting their point of view and what they like about their car, what makes it different. So anyway, let's take a look at one of those. So what we're going to look at is actually another Hurricane Cobra, my friend named Bobby, and they're all different. Let's hear the story about Bobby's hurricane. Here comes the story of the hurricane. Hey Bobby, thanks for taking a minute to take a let us take a look at your car. Just want to ask you a couple of questions about it. People are always curious about. How long would you say it took you to build this thing? Well, we picked it up on um, Thanksgiving weekend in 2012. And I got it registered legally in 2019. So about six or seven years, I think. Okay. Taking my time. A lot so. to do on these, yeah. <laughs> and the engine, what do you got in there for an engine? It's a 351 Windsor-based stroker. It's a dart block. So it's bored and stroked of 427 cubic inches. And it puts out 600 horsepower and over 600 foot-pounds of torque. Wow. That's plenty. <laughs> Makes merging in on freeway on route pretty easy, yeah. It does, yeah. yes. <laughs> um, the really cool looking car. What what would you say is your favorite part of having this thing and driving it around? Well, from the car itself, I would say just the absolute immediate acceleration from the pedal. <laughs> yeah. In, in any gear at any speed. ridiculous it's so overkill <laughs> and then i guess uh other than that just the attention it gets everywhere you go people stop and ask is it real <laughs> that's a big question isn't it yeah. is it real yeah it's real uh, a lot of people just don't realize that there were only 850 something original cobras made out of that many there was only 350 original 427 cobras built at all in the whole world yeah in the 60s and so they're the original ones are very rare yeah so. very rare and expensive huh and expensive yes yeah i have a friend with a couple of them here in dallas and uh, oh boy they are very very expensive what would you say the least favorite thing about it or maybe you don't have one i don't know oh least favorite well i built this thing and so uh I'm still shaking bugs out of it, you know. Uh, yeah. It's uh, got some fluid leaks that I'm chasing down. Um, having some clutch issues right now that we're about to pull the transmission and, um, cause actually I made a bad choice with the transmission set up as a TKO 600 uh, road race, close ratio. So it's got a tall fifth gear. And me and my wife ended up, we're doing a lot more driving on the freeway back roads of all over texas we have over fourteen thousand miles on it now wow. in four years and so we're just doing a lot more freeway driving so i'm going to swap it out for a tko standard 600 so better right. gas mileage and uh and uh do some tweaking on the clutch setup at the same time yeah but, uh, other than that it'll pass everything but a gas station i huh. get uh you know 10 to 12 miles per gallon is the best yeah. i can do well, it is a race car. There's that, right? Yeah. Well, cool. So you guys enjoy this, huh? Oh, yes, we do. Yeah. Great.
at one point I really wanted to build a patinaed Cobra. So it looked even more original, you know? And if you're a regular guy, like most of us, you've got to pick which you want. I mean, there are some people that have a Cobra for every day of the week and they're all in different colors, like Mr. Park here. And by the way, I'll put a link to a video about him. If you haven't seen Lynn Park's collection of Cobras, it's pretty impressive. Anyway, back to Bobby's card. You can see what he did is this thing's in gel coat. And I think the thing looks pretty wicked. I mean, it, it looks like a race car. In fact, he tracks his car. I'm going to show you some video of his car out at the racetrack, but let's get back to Bobby's car. I want to show you a couple touches on Bobby's car that I think make it look really cool. From the front of the car, you can see that the engine oil cooler looks, I think it looks very original. You know, it's got silver lines on it and fittings like they would have had then. He also fabricated the air inlet for the cooler from an original car. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Really nice look from the front. The wheels on his, I think give even a little more period correct look than mine do. These are Trigo or Trigo, however you say it, and I really like the looks of these. You may not be able to see it, but he also safety wired the knockoffs on. I think that's a nice touch. So as you can see, it's just a really cool looking Cobra. And to me, just really has a used race car look to it. He's got Smith gauges in there, just like I do, which I think gives a very original touch. He actually went a step further and actually has Lucas switches in there. A lot of nice little things like that. You know, the livery stripes on it just make this thing, to me, looks like a real race car right from the 60s. Speaking of race car, here's a shot from it out at a track day. This thing's about ready to pull the left tire off the ground. So here's some footage of Bobby with his Cobra out at one of the local club tracks, putting some laps on it, doing what the thing was made to do, have fun and go fast. Well, thanks for showing us this. Absolutely. Here comes the story of the hurricane. Here comes the story of the 